What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video I'm going to show you a really cheap and easy way to test silver or gold bullion at home. It's called the Specific Gravity Test, so let's do it! Thank you so much for watching my video, I sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, then subscribe to my channel. In this one, I'm going to show you how to do the specific gravity test on gold or silver. You can do this at home or on the go. It's super easy. And before you say, wow, that looks like way too much equipment, way too much math. There's no way I'm going to be able to do that. Don't worry. I'm going to take you through every step of the way and explain it as easy as I can. So, and I also have to say that if you're going to be testing silver or gold that is uh, either slabbed, like a piece like this, you're not going to be able to do that with the specific gravity test. This needs to be left in the slab. It is an MS-70, uh, so you'd have to get like a precious metals verifier to test something like that. And also uh, pieces with numismatic value, you probably don't want to test those for risk of damaging them. So this test is just for bullion. So I'm going to test an American Silver Eagle here. You can see it's already scratched, so uh, no worries about ruining that anymore. And I'm also going to test this piece of poured silver here. It's a really cool wolf that I poured myself. It's just an unfinished piece, uh, but the cool thing about this test is you could test any weight you want. And I do have an uh, American Gold Eagle here, but I'm not going to test this. I don't want to pull it out of the slab, uh, but you could use this test on something like those or the uh, gold buffalo or whatever you want. Um, so now here's the numbers for the specific gravity of these different things. Silver, 10.49. Sterling silver, 10.36. 90% silver, that's your constitutional junk silver, 10.31. 24 karat gold, 19.32. You can see that's way heavier than the other ones. It's just because gold is more dense. Uh, well, not heavier, but the specific gravity is greater. And then copper, 8.96, which makes sense because you can see pure silver, uh, as you get less and less pure, it gets lighter, so to speak, which is more towards the copper. So anyway, uh, let me show you how to do this test. Uh, now, first, you are going to need a, a scale. This one I bought for, I think, around $8 on Amazon. Super, super cheap. I will put a link down in the description below if you want to get this scale. Um, I would recommend everyone have a small scale. The main thing you need uh, when you're looking for a scale is to make sure that it goes to at least 0 0.01 grams. If it's 0 0.1 grams, that's not going to be enough. Uh, so it's got to be able to break it down to the uh, extra decimal point there. Okay, so let's first off test the American Silver Eagle. I'll show you how it works. We will also test this piece of poured silver, and then I'll explain how to do it with gold as well, but like I said, I'm not actually gonna test the gold. So the first step is just to weigh the piece. So we'll go ahead and turn it on here. I am gonna be weighing it in grams. It's kind of hard to see, but I'll bring you guys in so you can see it. So we have uh, 31.29. Tilt the camera there, you can see 31.29. Okay, that's how many grams the Eagle is. So it's a little bit heavier than an ounce, which that's okay. We like to see them on the heavier side. So we'll go ahead and write down 31.29 as our starting weight. Now, the next step is to weigh it in water. So I'm gonna use a string to dip it in a cup of water on the scale, and then we will divide that number by this number, and hopefully we get the specific gravity. So now when you're doing this, here's a couple things I wanna show you. So you put the cup of water on the scale there, and we got it all zeroed out in grams. Now I'm gonna be using this string here, so actually what I wanna do is dunk just the end of this string to try and get a little more exact in the water there. Okay, so we got it dunked in, and I'm getting a 0 0.06 uh, reading down here. I don't know if you can quite see that. Let's see if we can get it to show. 0 0.05. It's kind of bouncing around a little bit. Uh, I'm going to write down 0 0.05 because that's what's shown right there. So 0 0.05, so this is uh, not even a tenth of a gram. It's about half of that. Just for the bottom of the string, we're going to minus that from the number to get a little bit better of a reading. Uh, so whatever number we get, we're going to minus 0 0.05 from it. You'll see what I'm talking about here. Um, so in fact, 
we'll, we'll go ahead and tear it one more time. Perfect. So now we're going to put the eagle on the string and we will dunk it in the water. Now, when you're dunking it in the water, you want to make sure it doesn't touch the bottom, that it's just sort of floating there. So freely floating in the water. Okay. It's not super hard to do. So we're just going to go ahead and dunk it. And we're getting 3.00 is the number I'm getting right now. Show it on the screen up 3.04. So I'm kind of bouncing it around a little bit. 3.00. So it's bouncing around a hair. We'll put 3.00. I think that's the main number I'm getting. So we'll go ahead and pull that off there. All right. So now we'll move this to the side. Actually, we can get rid of that. So now it's just a math problem. So we had 3.00. So first off, we're gonna minus the weight of the string there, the 0 0.05, which you can do that in our head, right? That's just gonna be 2.95 was the number there. So we gotta divide 2.95, we gotta put that into 31.29 and uh, see if we can get the specific gravity. So we'll go ahead and zero this out here. And we will do, this is a calculator from Dollar Tree, by the way, 31.29. Okay, and we'll divide that by 2.95 equals 10.60. Very cool. So we're right in the ballpark. So that's exactly what we want to see, 10.60. Now, that's really, really close to the number here, 10.49. So we know that this is uh, legitimate silver. Uh, so as you can see, the numbers were sort of bouncing around a little bit on the scale there. So it's not going to be exact. So you just want to make sure it's within a pretty close range. Uh, my sort of trick here for keeping it within a close range is we'll add 0.2 minus 0.2. If it's within that range, then it's probably legitimate, probably good. Um, so if you wanted to get even better testing, you could get obviously like a more precise scale, et cetera, like a scientific one. So let's go ahead and test this other piece as well, the piece of poured silver, make sure that's legitimate. So it's the same exact process. I'll show it for you, show you here again how it works. So we're gonna turn the scale on. We'll go ahead and weigh this in grams. Okay, so we got uh, 72.76. So we'll go ahead and write that down. 72.76 and we are going to minus a little bit for the string so we'll go ahead and put this on there and we will tear it to get it to zero now i'm going to go ahead and put this on the string whoops we almost had a uh, uh some water fly out there we'll go ahead and make sure we're all zeros make sure everything's legitimate here okay so we got the silver on the string now we're going to go ahead and dunk that in the water and see what we get Okay, we're getting 7.00 is what I'm getting. I'll show you there, 7.00. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and pull it out. So just like before, we're gonna minus a little bit of weight for the string because I'm not using like an extremely light string. It's just this, I'm not exactly sure what this is for. It's just for whatever, it's string. <laughs> so we had seven. 0 0.00, we're gonna minus the uh, 0 0.05, so we're at 6.95. Now again, all we gotta do, divide that into that bigger number. So we'll go ahead and uh, reset the scale here. Or, I'm sorry, the, uh, what am I saying? I got the scale, this is the calculator. I got a lot going on here, guys. <laughs> but okay, so we got uh, 72.76 divided by, 6.95 equals, we got 10.46. Okay, so 10.46, that's right next to 10.49. So that one was actually even tested out better than the Eagle. So awesome. So we got some legitimate three nines fine poured silver and a legitimate American Silver Eagle that we did the test on. So that's pretty much how you do the test. Um, like I said, it's really cheap, really easy to do. Now, if you're going to do it on gold, here's the thing I want to talk about gold. So this number right here, 19.32, that's for 24 karat gold. So if you were testing like uh, one of the American gold buffaloes, um, that's the number you'd be going for. If you were testing something that's 22 karat, 
uh, remember that 22 karat has some copper in it, so it's going to be a lower number than this. Uh, in fact, I don't know what the number uh, 422 karat would be, but I'll try and look it up and put it in the description below. If I can't find it, maybe someone will leave a comment and I'll get that added so we can get the number for 22 karat gold because the American Gold Eagles are 22 karat. That's probably a good one to add. Um, and then obviously we got the number for copper. I don't really know why you'd want to check the specific gravity of copper. I just thought I'd put it in the mix to help you understand the specific gravities. So again, to recap, super easy. All you do is you weigh the piece, then you weigh it in water, and then you minus that number by the original weight, and you're trying to get the specific gravity. So again, this test is not totally foolproof. It is obviously possible to mix metals with different specific gravities. Um, so if you were to mix, like for instance, something with a higher specific gravity with copper, you could try and get it to be the same as like silver or even gold if it was something that was really, really heavy. Um, so this test isn't the end all be all, but it's a great way to test your precious metals to make sure that they are real and legitimate. It is just one test that you can do at home. Uh, so I like to do this test on my silver bullion. And if you have a bigger scale, you can obviously do 10 ounce bars, 100 ounce bars, whatever you want to do. Uh, so anyway, that was a video on how to test really cheap and easy at home your silver and gold using specific gravity. I hope I was able to teach you something. I do want to say a massive thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next one. Silver Dragons out.